What's going on, everybody? It's Officer here. Sorry about the long delay in uploads recently, but it's been very uh, busy. Anyways, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get specific, unique police belt outfits. This is part two. I'm going to be doing a few more of these outfits as I find them. And uh, these are more outfits. These are other than the shirts that you'll get, like the normal blazers, the overcoats that you put on. These are different shirts that'll get you a lot better outcomes with police belts instead of just the short sleeve. So if you want the short sleeve, I'll show you a few of those in this video. Um, but this time I'll be showing you guys a new brand of shirt you can get the police belt on, and it's actually a long sleeve version. Uh, next time I'll be showing you guys how to get a new juggernaut alpha, so be sure to stay tuned on the channel for that, because that'll be soon. I'll try to upload a, a little bit more as I can. I got AP exams still coming up. Um, anyway, so what you need to do is uh, you need to put on the first outfit I have. As you can see, there is a teal overcoat. This is in the leather jacket, leather jacket section. I believe it's called the teal padded leather jacket. I might be mistaken. Now, you need to rank your character up enough. I prefer I prefer you uh, copy the rank from your primary character to this one, um, as that will make a lot of armor buying a lot easier. And um, you basically take on that teal jacket and you go to the gun running t-shirts, which is actually where it is. I do apologize for not being clear enough in the last video. The gun running t-shirt is at the bottom. Uh, it's going to be called like the blue digital t-shirt or gun running t-shirt, whatever it is. You're going to put that on underneath it. And then after that, you're going to be putting on some body armor. And it, it's going to have to be, it depends on what it is. Now, from what I know, the teal is the gray. Um, as for the rest, you might want to save them like a few different times because I do not remember off the top of my head what jackets gave what color. I'm pretty sure the black one gave the red one. So if you want any kind of red, the red uh, coverall top with the um, police belt, you can put on that. Um, but as for the other two, I think the red might be green and the tan might be navy blue. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure the tan is navy blue. And um, if you have a navy blue one, it'd be best to look like if you put on a uh, black standard armor. If you had the uh, red one, you'd probably put on the green sheriff armor or the light gray one, which is the light armor. And uh, for the pants, um, the pants are as is right there. So the light blue shorts that you see currently, um, those are actually going to give you cop pants. The navy blue pants, I found it out like a year and a half ago on how to replace the police outfit when it was first blacklisted, how to find a bypass. And um, those blue, light blue pants are what give you the navy blue pants for the cop. And the white pants are for black suit pants, in case you want any black suit pants. Now, you have to put on those boots so you can transfer the boots over. Because the boots, um, you will have to wear an outfit in free mode and transfer the boots over that way. So the boots are basically transfer boots that so whatever outfit you wear currently in online, before you do the merge thing in the job, uh, it will transfer whatever boots you wear at that point, even if they're juggernaut boots or even if they're like race suit boots, they will transfer over. So that's why I say you should probably put on um, tactical boots. And that's what I did by uh, putting on uh, khakis, khakis, I'm sorry. And uh, from there, your outfits will be transferred over. Like I said, this is how you do the glitch. Basically, you start up on your female character, make sure your, all your male outfits are deleted or... Um, Basically, I have the same standard outfits on there, and uh, you swap over to your female character, and you make the outfits I just made in the video, and uh, then you go to the creator, and if you haven't already linked it because you have a, an NPC account, link your social club, you're going to choose um, your female character if you get kicked back to character um, selection. From there, you're going to go to the creator, and you're going to start up a land race, make sure it's a point-to-point. -point. And basically, you're just going to make the minimum, sorry, the, min the minimum amount of checkpoints it takes for um, you to complete the race. So once you're done with that, you just test the race as it is. You guys remember this. And uh, whenever you do that, as soon as you press X to accept the uh, you have finished the test race, press pause, go over to online, and uh, do the choose character, and uh, delete your female character. Make sure it's your female. You may have to scroll to the right just in case if it's not selected onto the right one. Once you delete it, just press circle to story mode, and if you go back online, you should be as your male character. At this point, go to a dress, go to a clothing store, and put on the boots you see me doing right here. If you want these boots, these boots look a lot like the older police outfit because the older police outfit did have these boots, these unique boots on the suit pants. I was very meticulous about making this outfit, so that's why it is like that. And uh, for the sake of the video, I didn't show you the green or the red ones or the uh, navy ones. I showed you the light gray ones so I can show you what it looks like. And if you transfer it over to the right once, you will see, you can't see the boots at this point, but if you accept it, um, it'll work out very well for you. You'll load back into the job. All you have to do here is put on accessories or something, go back out, and uh, once you leave the job, you'll be in free mode, and there you go. You'll have your outfit. Go to the clothing store, save it, and rinse and repeat with the other outfits. Now, I will be uploading a Juggernaut video very soon. I didn't do it in this video because uh, I didn't have the footage of it, so I have to get some more money and uh, do it again for you guys to see, but that is completely worth it. So any questions, let me know. 
Uh, again, the armor can change. I'm pretty sure for the red one, you put on black armor. For the tan, um, tan belted jacket, you put on the uh, black armor. I'm not too sure. But anyways, um, hope you guys have good times exploring. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you guys out. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video.